is Sports Center. Hey, welcome to Sports Center. I'm your host, Azzy. And this week we have two incredible and real sports. One is baseball, which is the greatest sport ever played on turf. And the other is ice hockey, where you get judged on creativity and costume design. You're going to see some unbelievable highlights. Highlights next. Here we've got a baseball clash between division rivals, the Yankees and the Red Sox. So Adam Silverman hits one right up the middle, gets by the pitcher, and that ball just keeps going. I mean, they were playing him shallow. What looked like it could have been a single, and he takes two, and he goes to third base for a stand-up triple. Showing absolutely impeccable plate discipline, Jordan Maher waits for a pitch to hit and cranks a double right through the gap. That produces an RBI. And this is why you hustle, kids. Brandon Cox hits one down the third baseline, but he uses his legs to beat out an infield single. I hope somebody kept that ball as Dylan registers his first sport life hit with a beautiful line drive to third base. So earlier in the day, someone went up to Aaron Sheck and said, Aaron, could you explain to me how to hit a triple? And Aaron said, I could do more than explain it to you. So he goes up to bat and what does he do? He launches one. This one was great. And that's how you do it. How about a hockey game between red and blue? How about this absolutely stunning play by Tristan Reynolds? I mean, this is a mixture of class, of dedication, and of speed as he breaks through the D, waits out the goalie, and snipes one. You know, folks, credit Jonah Ohion for putting one on net, because when you put one on net, you never know what you're gonna get. I send my condolences to the goalie that's faced with trying to save Nathan Marcus's penalty shot as he goes backhand, forehand shelf for an absolute beauty. Here we've got another hockey game between yellow and black. They say patience is a virtue, but in this case, Zach Marmor waits until nearly 2020 before tucking this one by the goalie. This is the hockey version of Rope-A-Dope as Liam Biebergal gives Mathis Moore Yusuf the bottom half of the net and then kicks out the pad to rob him. I don't know what's more impressive, Miles Sod's top shelf wrister or his bird celly. Brr, brr, brr. You better watch out folks, cause Jesse Saltarelli is coming for you. First, he trips up the defender, gets an easy look on the goalie and absolutely rips one by him who can just watch as it goes in. After being stopped on a penalty shot earlier, Mathis gets his opportunity for some sweet revenge, but no! Liam makes a terrific desperation save, and Mathis can just lie on the ground, writhing in emotional pain. And you know what that does, folks? That sets up a little bit of magic for Logan Ertl, who goes down, spots the open side, rips it past the goalie, and gives the ref's hair a little tug just for good measure. Oh, right. Sorry, I was sleeping. Those highlights were boring. Not bad to do! Don't so great, I'm so hyper because I saw all that! I really enjoyed it! <laughs> Brian Hazard on TSN! Montreal.